Greetings and salutations, folks. And welcome to Mirror's Edge, where earlier I, I played uh, another game on this channel. I played a uh, Super Hot, and I described it as a game in which uh, it was something that I enjoyed the uh, gameplay. The gameplay of Super Hot is fantastic, but the story of Super Hot isn't particularly interesting. And the same thing I feel can uh, is what I would is what I would feel in regards to Mirror's Edge. Uh, the story is not particularly interesting, but the gameplay is what always keeps drawing me back. Like even when this game was new, um, I found the cutscenes to be incredibly cheap, especially for a triple A game. It was all like these uh, flash cutscenes. And that's not just the, the like the, the budget. Like you can have a good story told on a poor budget. Deadly Premonition is proof that there is a good story to be had in no budget. Um, but for this game, like, I, I feel like there is a crisis that's being presented here that it's, it's hard to define exactly who it affects. Um, like, the city is clearly oppressive to a degree. Um, its police seem to prefer the shoot first, arrest later method. Um, the uh, politicians utilize a strategy that is hire Hitman. Um, but it's hard to tell exactly where the legal grounds are for, like, or should I say where the runners stand in the whole thing. But I'm getting a little bit too far ahead of myself. Let us jump into this wonderfully colorful, fantastic little game. Now, one thing that I'm not entirely sure about is whether I want to do this as a pacifist run or as a lethal run. I know the internet Once tends the to lean on energy. pacifist runs. Dirty and dangerous, but alive and wonderful. Now, it's something else. The changes came slowly at first. Most didn't realize, or didn't care, and accepted them. They chose a comfortable life. So it's worse to have a comfortable life and, who refuse to conform, and better to be to live a dangerous life. Criminalized. They became our clients. We call ourselves runners. We exist on the edge between the gloss and the reality. The mirror's edge. We keep out of Also that house. is kind of pretentious. And the cops don't bother us. Runners see the city in a different way. We see the flow. Rooftops become pathways and conduits. Although it, it's interesting it's, that it's presenting the idea that, like, civilization has reached a point in which it is better to send a physical message. Uh, it is safer to send a physical uh, package um, than it would be to send an electronic message. Check out these new training grounds. Pretty slick, huh? So let's not run around duty, so get to her and just go with the flow. Okay. Though I suppose you could argue, I guess if they had, had a, like a, if this era, yes, that's the jump, that's his crouch. Objective screen, yes. Um, if you're living in a city which the city controls the internet. Like if, uh, there's no such access to VPNs. Wow, well, hello there. Alas, the 3D models uh, do not hold up quite as well as the uh, city itself. That's okay. Um, because the city looks really good. Yes. Doing. Also, this is an interesting way to present, uh... Oop. That was too low to the ground. Uh, to present a tutorial, because you're always, uh... Seeing somebody do it first. And the game is giving you, like, a s context for why you're seeing it. Oh, no, 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 no. There. Yep. There. Ah, uh, yeah. So, path pacifist versus lethal. So... 
In the game, you're transporting these packages for clients. What are in these packages? I don't know. Who are these clients? I don't know. And that's, that's the, the, I feel that's the gray area that these runners uh, live in when they're riding on the mirror's edge. Like, how do they know that they're not working for terrorists? Uh, they, I guess uh, they just have to trust the clients, but if... How do you know the clients that they're working for aren't working for other people? This one I always get a little bit tricky. Uh, this t part of the tutorial is always a little bit tricky for me, only because they expect you to do it in a very specific manner. Like, you can't just uh, run up and... Uh, you have to, like, run up to it on an angle, just like Celeste does. And some good old ledge walking. So yeah, there's the, there's a, definitely a gray area in regards to the jobs that they take, but let's assume. Let's assume that um, the jobs they're taking are just... Damn it. And, that one is a little... That part of the tutorial is a little bit tricky because you can't really tilt your camera down while you're sliding, so it's like... What part do you know uh, when you're supposed to jump? Clearly not when it turns red, because that's too early. You need to wait a little bit. Uh, but it's also interesting uh, that this game is presenting you with all these movement options first. Damn it. You're gonna see probably a lot of that. Of jumping towards things and just slightly missing them. Oh, in combat. Merc wants me to run you through some sparring. You know how he is. The you ready? deep invigorating okay. combat. So, it's at this point... <sighs> like, combat isn't the focus, and that's also one of the things that really kind of messes around with the idea of doing a pacifist run at the very least in your first try let's run through some weapon disarms just in case because combat isn't exactly that that fun to do um, and you get killed pretty easily Remember what I taught you, Faith. Um, I you also it. can't really pocket a gun for later my... so there's no real point like, you can't pocket a gun for later, it interferes with, uh... Damn it. There we go. It interferes with your climbing, so it's like, eh. Might as well just get rid of it. Um, also, you can't reload any guns, so... And then you got this slow-mo feature, this reaction time. Which is something I always forget about. Uh, forget about using. Okay, that's enough training, ladies. Gotta get to the real thing. Drake's got a job for yourself, so check in with him. Faith, let me know when you're ready to get going. See you later, Faith. Adios. So, yeah. Let's say, for instance, um, what, like, the goals of the people, let's say they're just, uh, because, like, there's no, nothing nefarious going on. Um, they just want to keep the, the, uh, government out of their hair. For privacy reasons. Like, for the same reason why somebody might want a VPN. They don't want anybody, uh, nosing into their stuff. Which then leads to the question of, what are the legalities of the Freerunner? Um... Clearly, there's a little bit of trespassing going on. A little bit of breaking and entering. Uh, but when you throw in the... F like, And I, I... That alone should not qualify for shoot runners on sight. Which seems to be the case for a lot of... Um, also, the city yeah, still yeah, looks great. Work, but once you finish 
But yeah, just the act of trespassing and uh, alone and, uh, and breaking and entering alone is, shouldn't necessarily qualify for uh, gun violence, uh, which is really all that it takes. Like, uh, the first time you actually see the police, um, a little bit, uh, there, oh, no, ah, ah, there we go. So, and they just go at it, guns blazing. Oop, can I? There we go. Um, so, like, you start off the game, and they're already shooting at you for just that. Then, as the game progresses, uh, like, like, you add on assault. Um, assault of a police officer. Why is it about you, Faith? Sounds like the blues are headed your way. News chopper tipped them off. Um, which itself thus can be argued that doesn't need that excessive force. Um, but let's say you decided to go with a lethal run. Like if you decided to go with a lethal run, that's where things get problematic. Not just uh, not just morally, because now you're. Uh, now you're pretending to be this uh, rebel, um, who's just a messenger. You're just you're, you're not you're not even a, yeah you're just a messenger, um, and now you are trying to take the high road, literally and figuratively, but at the same time you're also killing people, which I think is very problematic for the argument of are these people like doing the city a service or are they criminals? Um, which definitely uh, emphasizes the use of a... Which definitely emphasizes the use of a pacifist run. And just punching a whole bunch of cops in the nuts there. Um, whereas, uh, like, if you started grabbing guns and killing people, like, that... Can start that can be like okay I understand why they're reacting to this now I can understand why they're saying Get to Celeste. There are more blues on the way. why they're just uh, if they see you they just start shooting at you hey, throw me the bag. what's in the bag yeah. are you worried about dropping it okay, nope I got it from here. okay they're playing rough cell I'll be fine Oh, hello. And now we have the uh, news chopper. The city eye. Also, uh, from this angle, it's kind of interesting to see the, uh, the area of the level that you don't actually get to interact with. Um, but it still highlights the interactable areas, like this ramp and that door. What did you do? Nothing. They just opened fire. Don't know what the hell happened. Okay, so um, that's something I forgot about. Is that uh, the fact that they just opened fire on Faith is suspicious, which thus leads to the main plot of the story, in which uh, they're in investigating the death of the mayor. Was it? So, that presents the idea that the fact that the police have been opening fire, this is different. Normally they don't. Going to see Pope. Robert Pope. Taking a statement on that break-in last week? Anyways, it's a 56 West Arlen Drive. Tell Lieutenant Miller. Copy that. I'll relay the message, Officer Connors. Thanks. Connors out. Hello, sis. You there, kiddo? Hey, Mark. I bet you're listening to the chatter. You know me. We'll try and get some sleep. It's been a rough day. I'm gonna put the word out tomorrow. See why those blues got itchy trigger fingers. I'll drop by later, okay? And don't chuck that pizza. I like the topping. Matured. Sure. Yeah, I know. See you, Mark. Does anybody say that they like the topping of their pizza? Matured. Shot fired. All 
units proceed to 56 West Arlen Drive immediately. Proceed with caution. Kate! No, the stagger, the cards have all come down. Are you? Merc. You off? Just get on comms and track me. I mean, I suppose, like, this isn't exactly... The, the quality of this animation is higher than your standard Flash. It's... Saturday morning cartoon... Flash. Almost there. It just felt well, like terrible. Like, like, it, it felt, uh, uh cheap at, at the time of this me. game's release. It's my sister. Uh, Okay. Like, I, I guess it's cheaper to, to figure out than making realistic, uh, 3D models look good while they're interacting with each other. Uh, but there's also some of those cutscenes in here, too. Um, also, it was night when the... Uh, when the police, uh, call went out, and now it's day. So, pretty much everybody's going to be exactly where they were. Nope, no. Nope. There we go. Okay, Drake says there's been some heat on West Arlen, Pope's place. I guess that's where you're headed, but be careful. I'll tell him what's going on there. Ah. Uh, I always enjoy... Oh, no, no. When you jump at a ladder in a game, and you just grab right onto it. Good times, good times. So, you know, he was running for mayor, right? Finally, someone who could actually make a difference in this place. So this presumes this creates the idea that the runners have been existing prior to this point, delivering messages for somebody, the highest bidder, um, or for specialized clients. You never actually meet any of the clients in this game, and that's something that um, I don't think the reboot actually addresses either. Avian flu. Here to stay, City Eye reports on the troubling expansion of this deadly disease. We live in a city of millions. A safe city. A kind city. And yet not long- okay. Uh, good old days when you- when elevators were just excuses to hide loading times. Also, um, it's- it, I, uh, it's probably unrealistic, but it's one of the greatest parts of this game. What are you doing here? Is um you no. you don't why everybody decorates Should their I? rooms in it's just Robert. single Robert colors. Hope? Friend of Dad's? Shit, that Pope. He called me. We hadn't talked much since I joined up. He had a break in last week. He's still a campaigner. Don't you read the news? It's no, I only watch the it's police crazy. scanner. He was running for mayor. So the break-in must have really spooked him then. It's not news anymore, it's advertising. It okay, that is a good line. Asked me to come, then asked after you. Really? I haven't seen him for at least ten years. Anyway, he was alive when I got here. Just sitting at his desk, writing. Everything went black. When I came to, he'd been shot. And I'm pretty sure it was with my gun. There was a book on the desk. A diary. It was gone. I'm sure there was someone else in the building. Left my radio in the car. Haven't had time to phone it in. Come on, come with me. It sounds like you're already this phoning it in. Run. But I'm um, like running will just make me look guilty. You think this was an accident, Kate? There are no accidents in this city. Someone in Mirror's Edge, the movie, uh, Tom Cruise is going to be playing his faith. Please, you've got contacts. There's got to be more to this. Something he knew. Something he wanted to tell me. I can't get involved in this, Kate. You know what I do. I just. Can't. Blue's incoming, Faith. You might want to be out going right about oh now. I'll see what I can do. If this goes down badly, find Lieutenant Miller, my superior. Take anything you find to him. I'm serious, Faith. Remember, they're not playing nice. Get out of there. Remember, they're going to try to shoot you with guns in your in the in this green room. Okay, that hug probably looks terrible from uh, from a third-person perspective. Oh, and I'm back in control. Doing. You know, I have a big and symbol just like right there in the middle of my wall. That's a. Uh, 
That's that's art, really, at this point. Also, I kind of I kind of dig the minimalistic music. Like it doesn't really need to be that omnipresent, as long as it gets the mood across. Um, there we go, and then we run across. And we enter still a lot of green in this room. Ah, damn it. That's okay. Yep. Sometimes, uh, I feel with this game, there's a, sometimes a little bit of trial and error only because of how quickly you have to react some, at some points. As well as, like, just trying to figure out exactly where uh, the game expects you to go. Ah. go. Also, the ability to just jump kick doors open is great. You can also crouch kick doors open. Oh, hello, chopper gunner. You know, the fact that these, uh, ah, there we go. The fact that all of these, uh, police, the gunners, the officers, they just kind of all showed up at about the same time. That should be pretty suspicious in general. That bird ain't playing around. Get your ass to the CEC news building. I'm finding you a way out. And there we go. There are also hidden things to collect in this game. I've never really done that. Um, I've never really pursued the hidden object game. Um, largely because I'm not, I, I, I'm never really that dedicated to any of this particular video game. Like, uh, I never did the feather collecting in Assassin's Creed. Also, um, what's interesting is there was a hidden object there, but it's gone now. Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> um, like, I've never really had the desire to a hundred percent a game most of the time it's very rare that it happens and mirror's edge is not one of those games i also find that the act of collecting uh the stuffs sometimes gets in the way of the actual running and i feel that's like that's that's more the point whereas stopping to look around is not there we go And... Kabooey! There we go. This is a great scene. Because you got, like, the guys who are coming out the elevator. It's a very natural progression of... Sneaking around them, hitting the elevator doors, and then... Uh, seeing all the bullet, uh... I guess they're not bullet holes, but the dents in the door. It was really cool at the time. Yeah, you can breathe out. Damn, what a mess. Can't believe Pope's gone. Shit, man, this damn city. So you know him, huh? Well, you sure open the can ah. of worms on this one. And the city and the eye uses the only avenue. yellow yeah, for its decorations. <laughs> Take that door. Picking up squad cars moving in on you. You ain't got much time. There we go. And back into the yellow room. Nope. There we go. Now this is... Ac I always like the parts where you're just sliding down these, like, angled walls. They're few and far between, but it's always pretty cool. But also, it's again, it's interesting that there's so little combat. Uh, considering the developers of the game. Uh, since it's made by DICE, the creators of the Battlefield series, they also have a game in which you're just running around shooting everybody.
Uh, they have a game in which the, uh, the objective of the game is not to shoot anybody. Or should I say, it's not necessarily the objective as much as um, it's a choice the player can make. Um, and as I've stated earlier, like that's it's this it's the choice that makes sense considering uh, character development and plot development. Although it is a difficult choice, especially when you start uh, dealing with uh, armored enemies. All right, so those two guys taken care of, I can now freely hop a train and get out of here. But because you're constantly just running from people, um, everybody is kind of like, you don't really see who's chasing you as much as you're seeing where their bullets are hitting, which is also like very interesting to, uh, as, as just like a gameplay uh, perspective. Oh yeah, we're not hopping a train, we're sliding out of it. And then, Mr. Jackknife himself. I believe. You okay? Come or is that Jackknife? No, that's uh, just some other guy who you never see again. You did good, Faith. No word on what's got the blues so trigger happy, but I'll keep on it. And uh, don't worry about your sis, okay? We'll fix it. What the hell, Merc? Something's got somebody rattled, kiddo. I don't know what it is, but they're mighty jittery. Hey, Cell. Take long to lose them? Nah, those blues can't move for shit. They've gotten a little gun happy, though. <laughs> Wires are fizzing about Pope's murder. Blue traffic is out. I like the animation of the, uh, of the, of the gun happy motion. Must be I, can, I can give it props time. for that. Be careful out there, Cell. So why all the heat? Our girl's been lifting evidence from a crime scene. Now every cop in the city seems to be after her. That the evidence you lifted? Yeah. Also, it's kind of diary. that's kind of odd um, I can make statement. It's like Icarus, maybe, and to the highest, Icarus. Wasn't he the Greek guy? Yeah, his dad made him some wings out of feathers and wax. And the like it would seem kind of suspicious that just the act of being at the crime scene would make uh, no Faith more enemy wings, number no one. More Icarus. If anyone's heard anything, then you know who it'll be, Faith. Yeah? I know he ain't a runner anymore, but he's got contacts. You can't avoid him forever. Wanna bet? Who? Jackknife. How do you know it's not Icker you and... Drake's got a location on Jackknife. He's on some rooftops at the old runner training ground near the storm drains. Roots crawling with blues, though. You can follow right now for the Hampton Town District. Get going. And this is, uh, this area I believe is the one that really kind of emphasizes the additional combat. A little bit more combat, a little bit more exploration. Um, farther on, like, you never actually have to shoot anybody. Uh, there's a point in which you do have to shoot at something. Also, how many... I have to wonder though, how many police officers are looking for you at any time of the day? Because the fact that you can just kind of like appear in daylight and then suddenly everybody's just trying to gun you down, uh, it, it feels like there's a uh, per capita of uh, police officers to civilians. Like the ratio is... Okay, I missed that box. Uh, is ridiculous. And also there are snipers around there, so it is best to serpentine my way out of this place. Now, if I could follow the path and not fall off, that would also be great. Oh. There we go. Then I could jump across. And 
now some amazing interactions. Um, I now what's interesting in regards to this game is uh, the runner vision, the the fact that it highlights specific objects in red. Like there is the whole. Uh, Actually, without going into the entire idea that, uh, yeah. like, interactable objects in a Tomb Raider have yellow tape coming off of them, um, there's actually a different uh, section in uh, the Tomb Raider reboot that was done recently um, that I especially find interesting in regards to the idea of the discussion on um, how do you know what's interactable and how do you know what's not. Um, in the uh, Tomb Raider reboot, there is a specific section of the game where you have to climb, uh, make your way across a rope that's kind of like, that's over a precipice. Um, on the other side of the rope, you see a uh, perfectly viable cliffside to climb up. Looks like you're in the clear. Now get into those trains. Um, nope, nope, nope. Damn it. Ah, crouch is not slide down. It's just hold down to slide down. So... <laughs> there we go. Um, but, when you- in Tomb Raider, when you're looking across this, uh, precipice, uh, to where the rope goes, and you look below that ledge that it's uh, heading towards. Um, you can see, clear as day, uh, a specific gray rocky pattern. Um, of which the game has already taught you uh, is the kind of rocky pattern that you can uh, use your climbing hook things, I forget what they're called, um, to latch onto. So just looking across the precipice, across to where the rope is going, you know, before even making your way across, that something is going to happen that will cause your rope to snap, that will force you to have to grab onto that uh, piece of interactable uh, rock climbing surface. So like the suspense, or the, sorry, the surprise. Nope. I wrong the order of buttons. Uh, is removed. Whereas, like other games, tend to like like give you some sort of hint as to what you're supposed to be grabbing onto before you you run run towards it. Like Half Life Two, I believe, was one of those first games that really was like, how do you get a uh, a player to look in a specific direction, uh, put a light there. Um, and a lot of games use that. Uh, is just put a light there. Um, and with this game, it highlights these uh, interactable objects red. They are not red uh, themselves. They are made red by the runner vision, which can be turned off. I am not that good of a player of Mirror's Edge hey, to turn him off. On the wires. Shit. Looks like they anticipated you might duck in here and send a sniper team ahead. Because they had a spare sniper team just kind of like sitting around, minding their own business. Um, so, like, the fact that the world objects are highlighted, um, it doesn't, for me, it doesn't give away surprise as much as it gives away, um, Faith's knowledge in regards to how to move. Um, I forget if I had made this argument in a previous game um, about the auto aim systems that sometimes are there. Like not just auto aim, but uh, but like the aim assist. Um, it is a fact that if you start playing a James Bond game, you are probably not James Bond. Um, I feel like, uh, the aim assist is there to kind of, like, bridge the gap. It enables you to 
be more like James Bond than you already are. Uh, when you use aim assist in like a Call of Duty game, in a Battlefield game, uh, it is filling in for the lack of experience of yourself because you are not a soldier, but your character is a soldier. So, like, how do you present? Uh, was that good enough? Yes, it was. Um, how do you present their experience level, their training, without making the player go through all that training? Um, and the the runner vision feels almost like. Uh, aim assist, but for movement. So you could see exactly um, how Faith sees the city. She doesn't see the city as uh, gray boxes. She sees the city as a, a group of interactables. And the runner vision enables that uh, to work. I always have a little bit of trouble with this section. Um, uh, usually I try to just cower it out and just take a hard landing here and then make my way across. But unfortunately I believe this game forces me to shimmy. Truly shimming is the worst. Um, this section also confused me uh, when I was first playing it because like this specific platform you're on uh, just stays where it is and then when you get to the top of this area uh, there's a button that says raise platform and I had assumed that meant raise the platform that's right in front of you uh, but it's actually raise that platform go. Um, damn it. Also, uh, Faith must be in incredible shape uh, to be doing all this uh, running, jumping, general cardio. Like, if you were going to be in any, like, physique of uh, any video game character, clearly Faith is, like, the one of the top, the, the top goals just considering how she's able to just jump around the city there we go now I suppose I could talk about the seek the reboot for a second here um, I've only played the reboot once. Um, I thought it was okay. It, it, it improved some things. It uh, took out some other things. Um, I wasn't actually a big fan of how it uh, completely removes your ability to, ta to use guns. Like, I would rather have that be a choice rather than an automatic option. Uh, because, like, it, fe it feels as though like the guns are just automatically glued to your opponents. There we go. Um, and let's see how, actually, before... I, I guess that will cut off that conversation short, because let's see how this uh, foray into combat goes. Also, I don't remember if I actually need to do combat in this section. Whether I could actually get away... I'm gonna try to see if I can get away with not fighting. Damn it. Stop shooting me. Maybe I can't get away with not fighting. Damn it. Okay. So I can't get away with not fighting in that direction, at least. Or at the very least, I need to be a little bit more accurate with my jump kicks. Um, and that's something uh, which Catalyst does a lot better. Is, uh... Yeah, stop shooting me. Is, uh... Taking, giving you combat options. Whereas this game is very much a uh, run, charge into bad guy, uh, try not to die.
Okay. No, please stop shooting me, sir. Okay. Now I can ditch these fools. I don't need them, they don't need me. Look, Jackknife may know something about Pope's murder, so don't let him wind you up, okay? He used to be a pretty decent runner. God knows who he's working for now. And that presents an interesting other take, is like, who are these clients that you're working for? Um, like, there are so many clients out there who are looking for runners. Um... Hello, oh, you son of a... The news you need. The Daily City. Which is different from the City I. Damn it. It's nice of Jackknife to just stand there and wait. Otherwise, I'd have problems. Uh, no? Okay, that wasn't the direction either. Um, also... I, like, you can hit B to figure out exactly where you're supposed to go, but it would be more convenient if you were able to just kind of, like, step outside and be like, okay, that is the direction. Uh, whereas sometimes it's like, okay, you're looking at the city skyline, what actually comes next? Um, and if, for, if you're playing it for your first time, second time, first time in a while... Oh, now I was fast enough to actually see him uh, head left, which I had missed that first time. go. Hell you. It's very convenient that all these buildings are connected like this. Otherwise, the whole running network would be screwed. Also, I believe Jackknife just disappears from the game once this level is over. So it's like, there are, there are some characters in this game that are just very temporary. And considering the fact that the plot involves, uh... The end of the runners. We are family. Recommended by Dr. Dave! Would you trust somebody named Dr. Dave? Or probably, how about this? Would you trust any doctor who referred to themselves to by their first name? Okay, that did not quite work out. See, I saw this, jumped, Okay, Faith. Okay, I was holding down the left analog stick when it started up. Faith, I'm gonna have to take you on Faith that you're going to grab this. There we go. Also... Um, it, cl it clearly is pr this is clearly a pretty dangerous profession. Like... Like, sometimes you could just go right through a, a bar. You could just not grab onto the bar that you had grabbed onto previously. Even though there's... Do I have to... I, I guess that's something that I'm not necessarily clear about. Like, do you actually have to interact with it, or is it automatic? Like, that, that one she just grabbed on automatically. Um... I'm just going to mash the jump button. Okay. Faith has decided that she does not want to grab onto things today. 
I'm just going to skip uh, until I'm on the other side of this building because I have no idea what is going wrong. All right, finally Faith latched onto that third bar. And then I didn't screw that part up, which is good. Because if I did, I would have to go back. And that would be bad. Now, there's a longer section with this kind of scaffolding um, later on that's a lot more interesting. And also leads to um, what is what, what I think kind of puts the whole pacifist run at odds. I know what you're here for, like me. the idea that you can... Just tell me what Icarus has to do with Pope's murder, Jack. I heard a cop did it. You heard wrong, then. Like, you can actually just kill somebody, but it still doesn't consider it a murder because uh, Faith didn't shoot them. Travis Burfield used to go by the name of Ropeburn. Is this going somewhere? Ropeburn? Well, he's really just a thug. Are you ready? Ropeburn's ready? Always want to swim in the big pond. <coughs> Never see the bigger fish. If I were you, I'd start with a glorified slab of meat. Happy hunting, Faithy. Listen, I don't know about going to Ropeburn straight away. I'm not. I'm going to see Mel. Oh, Faith, what are you doing? You're gonna tell him about Jackknife? Not yet. He's still a cop. No matter what Kate says. So, you're going to tell him about the Rex Wrestler muscle? Or... Lieutenant Miller? I'm Faith. Kate's sister? She never mentioned a sister. Yeah, well, we're not the mentioning kind. Also, if she he works for the police, you, and the police are, are trying to hunt Faith down... And you wouldn't be the suspect seen fleeing from the crime scene, would you? Well now, it's difficult to recall with a gun in my face. I know what you are. You know it was a setup, right? I know Kate wouldn't be capable of something like this. But my captain's asking some difficult questions, and I can't even get in to see her. What do you know about something called Icarus? Why? It's mentioned on this. It was in Pope's hand. I think it's from his diary. You took evidence. Kate's the only family I have, Lieutenant. And Blue's in jail don't last long. She goes down for this. It's a death sentence. I won't stop you. I owe that much to Kate. But there are plenty of people who'll try. And I can't stop them either. You better learn how to run. Running it's a good thing she best. knows how to run. <laughs> also, that was a convenient ambient noise uh, to distract the conversation so she can just Batman her way out of there. Ropeburn's got an office at Sea Burfield International Shipping near the Riding Park subway. Should be a sign on top of the building. It'll help guide you. Look, I saw Ropeburn wrestle once. Broke some poor bastard's arm and then headbutted the ref. So if this rope burn really is mixed up with Pope's murder and Kate's setup, then he sure won't be a talker. He'll be a fighter. Thank you for watching. Questions, comments, recommendations for something to play next? Comment down below or send it on over to it sounded good on paper at gmail.com. That's it sounded good on paper at gmail.com. So long for now.